My name is Ron Barrett, and I am very proud to welcome you to our, the show here at the uh, M uh, Mobile Museum of Art. It is the art and design of Mardi Gras. And there's a wonderful thing going on here. This is not about Mardi Gras or the history or to educate you on what Mardi Gras is. This is about the design. It is about the artist and the creation and all the artistic creativity that goes into everything to do with Mardi Gras. Uh, my favorite thing about the Mardi Gras designs are these trains. These trains are built for the kings and queens of the organization who lead the dances and for the king and queen of Mardi Gras. Uh, this show is showing a spectrum of trains, but they're not shown for who wore them or when they wore them or who spent the most money or who had the biggest rain. These are being shown by the design, the color, and the exquisite craftsmanship that goes into these trains. One thing I really want to point out that is so interesting, we have trains that start here from the 1920s that go all the way up to last year's. The trains in the 20s and the 30s are primarily constructed with Japanese and Taiwan Christmas decorations. This is something I'm very proud of. This train was made for the juvenile Mardi Gras King, Benjamin Cummings. And after the Civil War um, was over, they went and took cowbells and rakes from a hardware store, drug them down the street, and woke everybody up and said, Mardi Gras is back after the Civil War. This family owned the Partridge Hardware store where those cowbells and rakes were stolen. So these stories never, never go away. Well, the exhibit really does cover every aspect that we can think of from Mardi Gras, but remember it's about the art and the design of Mardi Gras. So it, it spans a lot of history and shows you things that you never even knew existed. You talk about the art and design of Mardi Gras. My whole artistic career is in the stage sets for these Mardi Gras balls. A Mardi Gras ball will start out with everyone seated with a stage that tells a story or a moral or who's the prettiest girl or who's having the best time. And all the designs of these are specific to the story that's being told. Therefore, my display here in the museum is the most wild, random collection of things that you could possibly imagine.